Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. Just to show you this example of one of the issues we've got with this car. I'm trying to clear the screen, or the, the, the screen's clear at the moment because I've just had the air conditioning on full blast, but the screen mists up very easily in the Amira. And of course the proper way to clear it as it's misting, starting to mist up now, probably because I'm talking, the proper way to clear it is to apply the demister, of course, the front screen demister. Um, as you can see, it's misting up quite a bit, so I'll just do that, but to get it to work, because we've got this situation where the air conditioning system or this climate control is either off or on, I've got it on warm at the moment because, well, you just set the temperature in a certain way, and I'm, I'm turning it on, and I'll just dial it up to try and to try and get it to option. You can see here the setting that's being wound up on the fan as I'm turning it up. You see there it's on half at the moment near as damn it and still no fan noise because it's not on yet. The screen is, is getting misty even mistier. So I'm turning it up now, turning it up and turning it up. It's only when it's on full blast and then it, <laughs> it works full blast and that's it. You get full blast or nothing. So to, to demist the screen, we have to turn it on full on, give it a couple of minutes or, or a few seconds, then turn it off, then turn it down, and then do the same again. We have to, <laughs> we have to, we have to keep doing this all the time to get the friggin' front screen to demist. Ah, it's, it's funny, and it's being resolved, to be fair, Rybrook at Bristol have been absolutely golden. Lotus customer services have been a nightmare. They've just actually apologized to me. They've been hooked into all our emails in discussion, Lotus customer services, um, between myself, um, Matt uh, at Rybrook Bristol, between myself, Rybrook Bristol, and the Safwat Cars, the Sheriff at Safwat, Safwat Cars, who again has been golden as well. Um, with our communications to sort out these problems, Lotus customer services have been copied in on all the emails and it's only, there's been about 10 emails that's tra traversed, traversed between us in resolving these issues, probably more actually. And it's only now that Lotus, Lotus customer services have dropped me an email after it's all been agreed now, they've dropped me an email apologizing for all the cock ups and for not engaging well. And I've just, you know, I replied back and I said, well, yeah, thanks for replying back, but unfortunately it's, it's too late. You know, it's all been resolved by Rybrook of Bristol and Sharif at Safwat Cars. Um, they've resolved it all. It's, all these issues have now been signed off, but we'll provide you a full update on that in the near future so that we can provide you an update of when the car's going in to have these three main issues resolved and um, the sort of timings and how they will be resolved. And if, if they're resolved satisfactory, I hope they will be. And as just to give you a bit of um, back history on that again. The three items are the windscreen crack, which you can't see here because it's in the section where the rear view mirror is, the air conditioning system, as we've just shown you, and the osmosis, which is the impact between the composite mirror materials that are used on the rear engine cover and the paint. So you get bubbling, osmosis bubbling. As you see, the screen's just misting up again. So here we go again, full on. <laughs> Demiss the fat. Do you miss the screen? Leave it for a few seconds. And then off again. Yeah. Only with Lotus, eh? But it is a known problem and it's all going to be rectified. So as long as these problems are rectified, I, I bought the car with these issues and it's given you the ownership experience. So I'm, I'm letting you know how these issues are being resolved. And like I say, my local Lotus dealer, Rybook Bristol, have been fantastic. Really on the ball, and they've mitigated all the issues that have come from Lotus customer services. Um, so thankfully, you know, they've given a lot of the power back to the dealerships now, although obviously with regards to maintenance, maintenance etc., the power was always with the dealerships. It was the sales side that was directly local to customer, to Lotus themselves. So yeah, a little bit of an update for you guys. And by the way, there's some more items that's been added to those three items now. And again, 
Rybrook, Lotus, Bristol have been very good. They've looked at those additional items when the car went in for assessment and they've added them to the list, but I'll give you a full update on all those additional items as well so that you'll have an, a, a video with all the items together and I'll talk you through exactly the approach of remediation for those items. If you were looking to purchase your first supercar or add a car to your collection, Rich Reviews has already helped multiple owners secure their dream supercar. We have a mix and match of services to help take the pain away to ensure a happy, memorable purchase away from the stress that can be caused by car research and dealing negotiations. Our mix and match of services include telephone support calls, pre-purchase inspection and car collection video. For more information, please contact me via a message in the comments below or at the following email address. Now back to the video. Front screen's misting up. Here we go again. Full, full on fan. Clear the screen. Then off again, on off, on off. That's what it's like. You imagine when we're driving distances in it, you know, when we're doing long treks up north, which we've done in the car, and the car's been pretty faultless, apart from the air conditioning. We've had to do that all the time. <laughs> Keep turning the freaking air conditioning on full blast and off. You have to see the humor side of it. And we do love the car. The Lotus is fantastic. You know, Lotus invariably have built a great car. Yeah, their build quality isn't great and there's been some issues, but they're a small manufacturer. Um, it's just how Lotus deal with it. It's Lotus customer support at the problem, that are the problem. And the sales side, you know, when they were selling direct from Lotus, that was the major issue as well. As you know, they just wouldn't communicate to me. It's like they didn't want to sell me a car, brand new. And I've come off better at the end of it, although I've got these problems, in that I've bought the car for around 22,000 pounds cheaper than I would have paid a year ago. And in effect, this is a brand new car. Yeah, it's got those three items or additional items on top of that as well. But a lot of you guys will have those items anyway and you've paid full price for it. So it's actually worked out all right for me. And we've got this great, lovely Lotus and, and it's getting fantastic attention from people and it's all positive. We get more attention in this Lotus Amira than we did in my stunning Ferrari 458 Spider and all the attention is positive, none of it is negative. Incredible. That has been one of the biggest surprises. People absolutely love the Lotus Amira. They absolutely love it. So it's brilliant. So if, you, if you're thinking about getting one in these cars, yeah, there's gonna be issues, guys, but get your ass in gear, get one. Have a look through Auto Trader and get yourself a Lotus Amira. They're great little cars and it's the last ice Lotus that will ever be made. So if you need to tick that box of buying a proper Lotus before they go hybrid, then this is your last opportunity. And there's great, great deals to be had on Auto Trader. Fantastic deals to be had. So get looking at Auto Trader and get yourself a great deal.